Welcome to the Board Game Bar, where we make drinks that pair with the games on your table. Today we're going to be making a drink to pair with Red Dragon Inn, a game about drinking and gambling and really just enjoying your night. And how could it not be made into a drinking game? Now, obviously there is a lot of drinks within Red Dragon Inn. We're not going to make a drink for everyone. There are drinks out there to do that. When we play this live, we're going to be drinking beer, wine, spirits or, or ciders that we enjoy. And we're going to have one drink that anytime it pops up, you're going to have to drink. And that is the Fireball Old Fashioned. So let's jump into it. All right, today we're taking on the Fire Breath Ale from Red Dragon Inn in the board game bar. Fire Breath, Fireball, put two and two together. We're not that creative, okay? We have our moments, but we're not that creative. So, Fireball, two shots. We thought about cutting down how much Fireball was in it. We decided against it. If you want to make it less, you do you. Two shots, fireball. Next, in place of a sugar syrup, we're using more alcohol. I don't know how we ended up here, to be honest. We've filmed a lot of videos today, and this is where we're at. So we're adding orange gin, of all things. So we're going to do 15 mils of orange gin. I'm just as confused as you are. But it works. Kind of. I don't particularly like this drink personally, but Kate and Daniel love it, so... If you like Fireball, you'll probably really like this drink. I don't particularly like Fireball. Next, maple syrup. 15 mils of this as well. If you're smart and plan ahead, you should do this before the gin, because this will get stuck in the jigger more. But I'm not that smart. So, that is it for this drink. That is everything. All right, time to stir. So. We're getting our ice. Again, enough ice to fill up higher than the liquid. Make sure you get all your ice in there. And we stir. Going around the outside, around the outside, until it starts to loosen off. And that's how you know you are done. And it's still about there. We're happy with that. We're serving this in a low ball glass on a lovely little Ice cube, it's a big ice cube, I know why I said little. And we're going to pour our drink over the top. And look at that, absolutely stunning. It's all the way to the top of the glass, perfect. And for garnish for this one, we're going to use a dehydrated orange. You can use a fresh orange if that's what you've got, but it's dragon's breath, it's fire. You're not going to find fresh oranges where there's fire. So. We're just going to chuck that on top, it's going to look sexy, and that is our Dragon's Breath Ale. Okay, so I have my lovely taster here. He actually likes Fireball, so you're probably going to like this a lot more than I am. You don't he like cinnamon, I uh, don't understand it, but it's great. I like cinnamon. Cinnamon donuts, for tits. Cinnamon whiskey, not about it. It's just Fireball. I don't have anything against cinnamon, it's just Fireball. Yeah. Well, I've actually been using this a lot in, uh, in my New York Sours, but it would be great to try it within yes. the... Fireball Old Fashioned. Yes. So. Well, you're basically mostly going to taste the fireball. I don't really know how the orange gin is going to play into it, but. Well, obviously, when we were choosing the orange gin, Fireball in Red Dragon Inn is a four drink card. It's like the highest drink card you can get. Um, and this online, when we were looking at Cinnamon Old Fashions or Fireball Old Fashions, they were really calling for orange juice. And, and I just could not find the metal to add orange juice to an old fashioned. You should not have, if it's orange juice, it's not an old fashioned anymore. It, exactly. So um, obviously the maple, the, the maple syrup adds the, uh, the sweetness sweetness or the, yeah, the, the, the sugar syrup. Um, yeah. But I think the, the gin really kind of adds that alcohol content whilst also yes. adding the orange flavor and we're getting the orange yes. aroma. So let's give it a try. Yeah. I've only tried this when we, I marked up the, uh, the ratios. Um, but we'll see how it actually tastes. See how it tastes. And the orange gin should give a little bit, of, it's a sweeter gin. It's got a very orangey aroma and I Doesn't love it. it. Yeah. Maybe, well, maybe that's because the orange is right yeah. where my nose is going to go, but let's go for it. 
up. What is the verdict? You like oh, it? Oh, yeah, I like this. Does it just taste like Fireball? It doesn't, actually. You actually do smell a lot of the orange. I smell a lot of the... the I don't really smell the maple syrup, though. No, the, the maple syrup... I'm not getting any hints of the maple syrup, but that orangey... That orange overpowers everything. Does it? Well, maybe because we've shot a few videos and I'm getting a little drunk, but... I was going to say, I definitely taste... I do taste... The, the orange does actually come through. It does come through. In a very nice way. Yeah. It's I do better. taste the cinnamon. It's not that I can mm. ignore the cinnamon entirely, but I think that the cinnamon really can, takes that second seat. Mm. It's that second seat within the drink. Mm. Um, and obviously, it's a drink that we wanted to be able to easily make. Yes. Um, obviously, when you're playing Red Dragon in, you're drinking every single turn, sometimes on other people's turns through drinking events, and you wanted a nice, easy drink to make between going uh, your normal beer, cider, or wine. Yeah. So I think this <clears throat> kind of achieves that goal. Absolutely. So that is the Fireball Old Fashioned. Dragon's that... Breath Ale in the drink, in the game. And we're going to be playing this game live on our Twitch channel, and our social media links are below. We also have a teach video where we're going to be going through how to play Red Dragon in. We'll be uploading this video on demand after we've played this live on our Twitch stream. Make sure you join us in the next video, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Jackie, we'll see you there. Bye.